Look at where we're at. We're at uh, the LA airport. We're going to Vegas. And from there, we're going to head over to Grand Canyon. Okay, so currently we're headed to the main lobby and I wish I could show you. Oh, this is perfect. It's a different world out there. So many buildings that I wish I could show more, but we're only here for just one day. Oh, okay, so I'm at the air el elevators. And maybe this is a little better view of the grandiose hotels and buildings everywhere. Okay, so we're at the lobby. I'm going to be staying here while I take my exam, but I'll show you guys around. It's a really nice scenery. And this is where I'll be staying, right over here. All right, let's get some work done. We're going to look at it. The design was created so that the forces cancel each other out. There it is, the Hoover Dam. Right now we're crossing the Mike O'Colligan South Sullivan Memorial Bridge. And this bridge overlooks the Hoover. biggest reservoir in America and they created a city called Boulder City for the workers of that dam. Alright, so we're at the the center where we can see the Hoover Dam. I don't really know all of the details, the infrastructure, but I'll show you guys around. There's a lot of cell towers over there. I think that's where the energy goes. Up to the, it's kind of a slant. It looks worrisome, but I'm sure they know what they're doing. And there's the Hoover Dam. Look at that beauty. Thousands of people labor creating this masterpiece of renewable energy. Isn't that a sight to see, eh? I 
Jacob, Jacob terrified. Whoa! Look at that. Whoa! That's insane. Oh, there's someone doing a time lapse. Look at that. Wow, that's brilliant engineering. No, it's the same one, but way up close. It's a different feeling. Whoa! How is it stable? Yeah, how is it? The only time this railway has been needed was in 1983. You see. This is how it spills over, and here it is, the real deal. Okay, you guys see it? Okay. And there, if you see right over there, there's a little marking of the water. It, it, it's the change in soil color, you see that? What's that? What's that? The Hoover Dam generates about 4.5 billion kilowatts of hours of electricity annually. That is enough to meet the power requirements of more than 400,000 typical households. That's incredible. 400,000 typical households annually. Dang. That's pretty mesmerizing. All right, let's take a let's take a look, a closer look. And also, I wanted to share that there's a tower over there with the uh, Arizona's time right over there. And if you go down a little that way, you could see Nevada's time. So, this river kind of is a is a border, uh, I guess roughly speaking, between the two time zones. And man, it is such a surreal experience to be up so close of one of, I would say, the biggest human creation, probably the greatest human creation that I've ever seen in my life. So, wow, what a privilege. All right, I'm gonna walk and I'll take you guys much up, much closer to the Hoover Dam. There's the Memorial Bridge. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. You can see the little arc. It's such a beauty. Here's the cell towers. I think that's what it's called brilliant design I don't know how it doesn't fall but man look at how grand this is so huge and here it is the Hoover Dam and the little water you see it look at the watercolors so majestic eh and you can see the arc the memorial bridge from here Gosh, it's so cool. Whoa, you see my shadow? This is my hand. It's minuscule compared to this giant curvature right here. Ready? Another angle. Woo! <laughs> wow. Imagine sliding. This would be the most greatest and dangerous slide of all. And the arch, the memorial bridge is looking upon the Hoover Dam. All right, before we take off, I gotta take you guys to behind the Hoover Dam. You ready? Here we go, check it out. Look at the colors, pure turquoise. This is the Nevada time, right over here. And then over there, uh, right over there. That's the Arizona time. Again, this is the border between the two states. Wonderful, eh? Alright, so I have to 
Alicia, who are you? The Grand Canyon? This is so breathtaking. I'm just, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's insane. Just brings you on your knees. Just a grandiose scale, and, and it's a yeah, it's a it's a mile it's a mile deep. I've never seen something so huge. Let's get a closer oh. up. I can't. Oh my gosh! Check this out. That's like crazy. It is. You can't. You can't. It's so different. The depth. You can't put it into words. This is something everybody should experience. It's like going to the moon and seeing a different world. Just look at the depth. Oh my gosh. Nature is so humbling. So we're about to see the sunrise in a couple of minutes. Let me show you. I'm not sure if you can see, but the sun's about to rise. Okay, so the sun is rising. We're just about to see it. Look at this angle.
so currently we're over here we're waiting for a bus we're gonna climb over here onto the hermit road maybe over to the mojave point and then we'll climb over this way onto the hermit road but and check out this bus stop this has to be one of the coolest there's a the bus stop and if we turn around Wow, we want to take a look at that. Flip it around. bus will arrive at each stop, both east and westbound, every 10 to 15 minutes. Walking this section of the rim trail from Mojave Point to the Abyss offers exceptional views along a 1.1 mile or 1.7 kilometer unpaved trail. This path is slightly... Here's the Pima point. Take a look. Can I get some water to wash my hands? What's your name? Yeah, you got some. You got a chubby cheek. Yeah, I'll call him Alvin. You look like Alvin. You like that? Oh, it's a female.
Where'd that come from? <laughs> it did a magic trick. It just <laughs> so it stores it in the pouch of the mouth, and then it just brings it back to actually digest it properly. You're a cool chipmunk. I hope you make a lot of babies. All right. Bye. Yeah. 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 We're here to stargaze, but I gotta show you this beautiful deer. Do you see it? Hey, buddy. Whoa. Look at that. Not afraid at all. <gasps> There's the full family. Oh, that's so cool. We're gonna run them over. No, we're not. Whoa! This is so crazy. No, don't feed them. Never, don't. Hey, it's Jin doing a little voiceover. On the last day, we visited the Grand Canyon Geology Museum. And although I didn't really understand of how the Grand Canyon came to be, here are some really cool takeaways I think you should be aware of. Number one, the Grand Canyon's history dates back to a billion years ago when two plates of Earth's crust collided. Number two, the upper two thirds of the canyon walls are made up of rocks from between 508 million years and 270 million years ago. So it's filled with history. No dinosaur fossils though. And third, the Colorado River began to form around 6 million years ago, carving out the canyon that we see today. And so it's so rich in history and it was just such a thrilling experience. And I hope if you guys learn anything from kind of like this vlog that you guys should also have Grand Canyon up on that bucket list or just exploring nature and just amusing, amusing yourself and being fascinated by it. That's all and hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>